description there'll be full links information below the video um this is not a sponsored video none of my videos are sponsored unless i actually state otherwise in the video let's crack on with this unboxing and overview of the godox tt 350n for nikon um i've been a nikon flash user for many many years over 10 plus years i've used them for weddings portraits commercial automotive shots um, one of my SB 600s packed up recently. Um, looking around, a lot of things have changed, as all things do. So I've decided to change over to the Godox brand for my off-camera lighting and my main lighting kit up. The reasons behind that was partly because all the lights will work with each other. They all use a similar trigger system. Um, and also it's become a brand that is well known and respected by professionals within the photography sector. So what I'm actually going to do is do a little bit of an unboxing, a little bit of an overview, um, nothing too in-depth or too detailed, but just to give you an idea with regards to this, alongside some other bits and pieces by Gordox as well as moving forward so you guys hopefully can learn from this and we can kind of see and, and go from there. So Gordox offer a far more complex but easy uh, trigger system that works across all their lights. It allows me much more creative freedom. Um, this allows me to mix and match any Gordox lights uh, together, for example, the TT350M, which is this. Um, also the, the V680i, uh, or the V682. Um, also you can mix it with an AD200 light. Um, also the bigger AD400 Pro and AD600 Pro lights as well. So I'll be doing a video on the Godex V82 and Godex triggers. Um, it's got a guide number of 36, around the same as the Nikon SB600. It's got full TTL support. High speed shutter sync up to one eight thousandth of a second. Recycle time of between 0.1 seconds to 2.2 seconds. Now I'm actually using the Panasonic Endoloop batteries in here, which actually gives you a much quicker recycle time than normal rechargeables. So either go for the Endoloop batteries or go for the Endoloop Pro batteries if you can afford to spend that little bit extra and it, you won't regret it. It'll give you a much quicker cycling time as well. Um, also, it's got a 2.4 gigahertz wireless trigger system built in, which all Godox lights have. It's got an LCD display on the back. It can also be a master. It can also be a slave. It can also, it only uses two AA batteries as well, which is fantastic. You're not carrying a load of batteries around. If you're using about half, three quarter power, you're easily going to get through a wedding. But worst case scenario, you've got two spare batteries. It, 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 it's not a, a major issue. Um, it can zoom between 24 and 105 millimeters. It head turns around 270 degrees and also 90 degrees on the vertical. Um, it also can be updated by USB firmware uh, updates as well. And the price is usually around 65 to 75 pound price mark, depending on if you look around. But like I said, below the video, I'll provide links uh, with regards to the main Godox site, also an Amazon link as well um, with regards to this as well. There's also a V350N, which is exactly the same strobe, but it uses the ion rechargeable batteries. So you've got one battery that you recharge instead of loads of double A batteries and offers a slightly quicker recycle time, but you pay about a 40, 50 pound premium for that. I'm more than happy to have a couple of double A's considering these only use two, and that's perfect for me. The reason I like the smaller flashes is they're not overpowering, they're not a big dominant heavy flash on your camera as well. But also at the end of the day you can link these up. So if you've got them under a brolly or you're shooting through a softbox, you can put an adapter on which but you can put two or three of these within one softbox and trigger them all at the same time. So effectively you're doubling the power of the light each time you add several of these within on that particular mount. So again, it's a great way and it also offers you a very compact system. Um, in the box, so just going through the box, just opening this up, we get we get the main flash in a, in a pouch. We also get a quality check card so it's been checked certified we also get the, the Godox warranty and we get the TT350N instruction manual as well so you don't really get much there in the box just the basics so in the case we get the main just taking that out we get the main flash unit itself as you can see small compact um, great if you want to travel with a minimal load and you're not carrying a load of gear you get the diffuser cap on there Nikon's in the past, I always used a Storefem diffuser. It's fantastic you get this with it, you don't have to pay extra for it. Also, in the case as well, there's a little pouch here in the back, and you get the 
stand with it as well. So you can stand the, the camera up on a on the stand as well. It makes it a lot more easier. So I have protective film on the front here, just protecting the sensor. We've got one on the LED screen on the back, which I'll peel off for you now. So on the, the back of the flash, we've got several buttons, which I'll go through in a bit more detail. Um, we have the mode button. The, the mode button allows you to cycle through TTL, manual flash, uh, multi-group flash mode. Um, the next button you've got is a zoom, which it does what it says. You press that and go through the zoom range. Um, the next button we've got is the sync button. So when you press it once, you turn on the high speed sync, hold it down for three seconds. And you can also cycle through the wireless trigger mode, so you can turn the wireless trigger mode on or off. You can set it in master, slave, manual mode, wherever it might be, depending on obviously how we're using the flash. Then we also have the slave button, which is one quick press that allows you to cycle through the, the group options. If you press and hold this down, this will let you cycle through the channel options by using the, the jog wheel in the middle there. Then we also have the test button, which obviously, if I turn this on, so pressing that, let you do the test, so you can test that it's charged. Then on the right we also have the power button, so you press it once quickly, it turns it off. Press it and hold it in for about 2-3 to three seconds, it turns it on. And then we've got the main jog dial in the middle here. Uh, the jog dial as well uh, will allow you to cycle through your options. You've got a set button in the middle as well, so you press the set, it'll store the settings that you have set up on the flash itself. So it's pretty straightforward, very easy to use. Um, and it also allows you full control. So all in all, I think this is a fantastic flash. I think Godox offer a brilliant lighting system, a system that I am now transferring over from Nikon. The other advantage is you can set this flash as well as a slave, which means it can be triggered by other lights within the Godox range. It'll just do what it's told. You can also set this up as a master, which means you can trigger and control other flash units, or you can use the Godox trigger units, be it the X1N, which is for Nikon, or it could be the X-Pro-N again for Nikon, but you have different versions of the triggers for different systems. The other cracking little benefit with this as well, once you have all the flash guns themselves, it doesn't matter if you buy the Nikon equivalent, the Sony equivalent, the Fuji equivalent, whatever it might be, you can trigger these on any camera manufacturer. All you need to buy is the relevant trigger for that particular system. So if it's a Canon camera, you get the, the X1C, which is the Canon equivalent. If it's a Nikon camera, you get the xt one n for Nikon. That trigger will allow you to trigger any of these flash lighting strobes if they're off camera, regardless of what make. If it's used on camera and you're using the main flash, then you need to get one equivalent for your camera brand. So if you're using Nikon, you need to get a Nikon equivalent speed light. This will allow you to control all your other speed lights that are off camera. So effectively, all the ones off camera, you can trigger regardless of brand. You just get the relevant flash to go on the top or the relevant trigger system from Godox to trigger the, the lights themselves. Nikon, Canon, Sony don't offer anything like that. So it means you buy the, the strobes once and no matter what cameras you change to in the, in the future, you buy the relevant trigger system. That is unheard of from any other brands and that's one of the reasons why I'm happy to invest and go with the Godox brand. And you can trigger an unlimited amount of the strobes flash units together. So you can have 20 or 30 of these set up all around a room, all at different power levels and different groups, and when you trigger it, they all trigger. So in theory, it's unlimited the amount of lights you can add. You can just keep adding. And at the price that these 750s go at, a £60 a flash, for a couple of hundred pounds, you can build an excellent multi-light setup that will allow you to do portrait, commercial, and just about any other purposes. Obviously, when you go to a bigger room and you might be doing... Um, property shot, inside shots of a, a property or a building or something like that, you might need a little bit more power. But the majority, I'd say the portrait stuff, even the wedding, or even commercial pack shots, that type of thing, these are more than powerful enough, by far. If you've got that little bit of extra budget, push it to the 860i, which, well there's a 685 model actually, which is just under £90 flash. Then if you get the V equivalent, you get the Lion, the rechargeable batteries in them. You can also get a V version of this as well. But like I said, for two double A's, it's, it's no hassle really. I think they're absolutely a brilliant system. Provided full links and information below the video for you. Um, I would appreciate if you could give it a thumbs up. I'll give it a thumbs down. Um, if you would be happy to hit the subscribe button, help me grow this channel. So it'll help me be motivated to, to do more content and more stuff that hopefully you guys can learn from. 
so hopefully we can all learn this together also hit the bell icon so you know when i've uploaded any new videos appreciate if you guys have any questions any queries um leave them in the video below and i'll do my best to reply to them also um till the, the next one all i can say is stay confident stay motivated keep creating and be creative thank you